Hey guys, Steph here. Sorry if I'm yawning. Um, I have two cards to share today. One is a birthday card for a little boy, Ava's friend, who's turning five. And the other is a teacher card for Ava's new kindergarten teacher. And they're both very simple. So first, Ava wanted dinosaurs for the little boy's card. So this is the card and I thought it turned out really cute and what I used was um, a paper tray ink rustic white cardstock base and then this paper back here with the little footprints the dinosaur cloud paper as I'm calling it this striped paper and this paper back here all came from the die cuts with a view boyhood stack right there and then um, my two dinosaurs here and the one on the inside and my sentiment, Roar means happy birthday in dinosaur, all came from this pink by design called, I think it's called Dyn Dynamite, right here. And I used all three dinosaurs and then I used the Roar means happy birthday in dinosaur and I used Hope Your Day's Dynamite on the inside. And all the stamping was with my color box chestnut roan uh, fluid chalk ink. Then, um, oh, well, for the dinosaurs, I copic colored them. I added clear gloss glaze pen to his tummy, glossy accents to his little, um, you know, horn things here, some white gel pen. And then just some glossy accents to the dots on this one and the toes. Then for the mountains, I use this Amuse Studio Make a Scene, and I just used the mountains. I stamped it three times, Copic colored it, and then fussy cut it out and layered it. And then, um, not to all of them, but to some, I added some stickles to the tops of the mountains, because um, I knew a boy wouldn't want a glittery card, but that way it looks like snow. And then for the extra clouds up here, they look darker on camera. I used the um, Studio Calico Mistables, the Clouds and Suns, and I just used two of the tiny ones and I sprayed them with the um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Bell Bottom Jeans. And that's it for the front. And I liked how this one made it look like the clouds look like dinosaurs. And then on the inside, um, I layered the papers again. I put, there's already a note in there. Hope your day is dynamite. And this little dinosaur guy, also from the stamp set. So that's that card. And then I really had to rush with this one, so it's super simple. It's for Ava's new kindergarten teacher. It's a five and a half by five and a half inch rustic white card base again. My image here is a Magnolia Tilda stamp, and she's called Autumn Tilda with Pencils. And I'll show you real quick my Copic colors, which will be on my blog in a few days, hopefully. i got to catch back up with that. So, as I said, I Copic colored her. Um, I added <clears throat> some Wink of Stella to the blue pencil to separate it from her dress some stickles to the ruffles on her dress and the bottom of her shoes. So, super cute. And for this blue pattern paper back here, I used my gorgeous, simply gorgeous 6x6 paper pad. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like losing my voice. And then for this red alphabet lined pattern paper there, I used my um, Studio Calico yearbook and I think that's what I used, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I took my EK Success um, Notebook Edge Border Punch and just punched the border there. Then for this blue piece, what I, well, blue and white arrow piece, what I did was I used this um, Hero Arts arrow background stamp here and I stamped it with Brilliant Sky, Pearlescent Sky Blue 
and then went over it with Perfect Pearls Blush, which I just got the idea from Jennifer McGuire. And so straight on, and I just got extra powder on there that luckily wipes off easily. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so straight on, it just looks like the blue, but when you move it in person, and I'll try and get a bit good picture, you get that wonderful shimmer on the arrows, which I love. So I thought that came out cute. For my sentiment up here, the sentiment is from Paper Tray Ink Teach and Inspire. And the... I don't know why. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> thinking out loud. And then I punched it out using the um, EK Success Real Estate Sign Punch. And then I inked around it using my Broken China Distress Ink. And then this here, um, all I did was I used a one inch circle punch on a printed out design. And then put a one inch epoxy circle over it and made my own flare with it. And I thought that was cute. So that's it for the front, super simple. And the inside, again, used the pattern papers, a strip of my background stamp. And then this here, um, where's the stamp? Hold on, let me grab the stamp, sorry. Okay. <laughs> for this, I just stamped this stamp here, this notebook from Stamp Abilities, and it's called Notebook and Stars, onto yellow cardstock with um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then my sentiment is again from the Paper Train Teach and Inspire. It says, Looking forward to a wonderful year. The pencil up here is from <clears throat> Paper Smooches Smarty Pants. And I just um, stamped it, copic colored it, and fussy cut it out. Oh, and this, after I stamped it, I hole punched the three holes that are on the stamp. Right here, you can see it's. I put it in upside down, but there's three holes there. I just hole punched it out. And then the apple is from Nikki and Seville's Henry's Brilliance stamp set. And I used this because it was solid and I didn't have to color, so I just stamped that with Riding Hood Red Stampin' Up Ink, the apple. And then the top piece, the stem, I stamped with Brown Sugar by um, Jenny Bolin, and then a green from Jenny Bolin for the leaf. And then I just outlined it with a black memento pen. So that's it. Super, super simple, like I said. So um, that's it. Those are the two cards that I did um, really fast over the past two days, or one day, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Ava didn't sleep good for two nights, so my days are mixing in. But we're off to this birthday party today, so i like, got to get that all wrapped up and everything. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.